Pontefract cakes, also known as Yorkshire pennies, are small discs of solid licorice that are about the size of an old penny. Each one is stamped with an emblem of Pontefract Castle. These world famous sweets were originally only made in Pontefract in West Yorkshire, and were made using the licorice that grew freely in the local area. Pontefract was in fact the furthest north that licorice root was ever grown for the production of sweets. But how did this plant, which is native to Western Asia and Southern Europe, end up thriving in West Yorkshire? Nobody really knows how licorice originally got to the UK. There are of course a few solid theories, but I prefer the tall tale of a well-to-do schoolmaster from Pontefract, who was on holiday at the coast during the time of the Spanish Armada. Wandering along the beach one morning, he headed towards the wreck of a Spanish galleon which the locals had told him about. The ship had collided with rocks and sank off the shore. Whilst viewing the wreckage, he came across a bundle of what looked like twigs that had washed up on the beach. These sticks were thin and pliable, and it occurred to him that they would be great for inflicting punishment on his misbehaving boys back at school. On his return to Pontefract, he soon had the opportunity to try out his new canes. He was delighted with them. The twigs had dried out and were light and whippy. They were so effective that his poor boys were driven to pick up the shreds from his twigs and stuff them in their mouths, biting down to try and stifle their cries. Of course, it turns out that it was no ordinary bundle of twigs that the teacher had found. It was a bundle of licorice roots. The boys discovered that as they gnawed the bits of wood, it released a sweet taste in their mouths. This not only offset the pain, but was also a new and unfamiliar flavour unlike anything they had tasted before. As you can imagine, for some, the flavour was worth the pain. The beatings became popular, so much so that soon all of the schoolmaster's sticks were spent. At the end of each school day, the licorice fragments that were scattered about the floor were swept out of the schoolroom and into the garden. It is said that the sandy soil of Pontefract really suited the licorice fragments and that they took root. The plants flourished and soon large areas of the town and the surrounding area were growing licorice for medicinal and confectionery use. To this day, licorice continues to remain a focal point of Pontefract's rich history so much so that they hold a licorice festival in July each year. Many Yorkshire folk also still refer to licorice by the name of Spanish. Perhaps a nice nod to the schoolmaster's lucky find.